It's me. I'm back. I know it's been a while. I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, scatterbrain. I can't remember to do much of anything, but I'm here right now, so let's just make the most of what we have. Okay, so what do I have as an update? I've been keeping busy, and I'm feeling okay right now. So I, um, I'm doing some tidying up in my craft room, which is long overdue. And uh, one of the things I wanted to get in order is to touch base with all of you. Uh, I don't want you to ever think I don't appreciate you and, and watch for comments every chance I can. And that's often since my iPad doesn't leave my lap hardly at all. But uh, doing videos and cleaning up my room and uh, doing crafts and, and, and artsy stuff like that is a little low on the priority list, especially this past week because of Easter Sunday. And uh, we had our Easter services, so we had to be at our church at about, uh, we had to leave at 5.40 a.m. to be there for the first service at 6.30. But that all went fine. Then we had this big breakfast, and um, we have a second service at 10.30. And I was blessed to have my uh, third child, Anthony, and his family my new grandson, Joshua, and his beautiful girl, Victoria, was there, and we had a wonderful time. They even came up to the house after. So that was a full day, but it was a blessed day, and it was wonderful, but there was clearly no time for crafting, cleaning, or vlogging. But here I am today. It's Tuesday. Um, as far as my multiple sclerosis is going, um, or how it's going, I haven't had the best of times the last couple months. It's been... Uh, it's been hard. Uh, I'm struggling. Uh, well, backtrack for some of you. Maybe you never uh, looked at any of my videos, but the majority of my um, my damage from the MS that I have is all in my my brain itself, and not really in my spinal cord, not at all. And um, so I don't really have problems with walking, or um, except for exhaustion and fatigue, I have that. But I mean, I have I have a pretty good gait. I can keep up with the best of them. That's not really where my disability is uh, focused. My disability is focused in my, my thinking, my cognition, meaning understanding what people are saying to me. Sometimes when people talk too fast, it's just a mess. I have to like disengage and just go try to interrupt them and say, you're gonna have to slow down because I cannot keep up with what you're saying. So I've been having trouble with my cognition, and um, my my short-term memory has gotten uh, bruised up pretty good uh, the last couple of months. Uh, I've been forgetting pretty much everything I wanted to do, uh, and and I mean from one five-minute segment to another. Maybe you've heard people say that they've slept since you told them something. Well, for me, is I've turned to the right or to the left since I was told something and it's just it's just gone so that's been pretty um, detrimental to my uh, self-worth I guess is a good way of putting it but um, I have Jesus and Jesus is always with me and he lives in me and he, he comforts me in a way that just cannot be described and cannot be found in a pill so uh, that brings some complications to my life not being able to feel valuable because that's that's really um, that's really how I valued myself. I valued myself for my entire life as to, as uh, helping others and being productive. And that's a huge part. Keeping my hands busy is a huge huge comfort for me. And so if my mind can't um, nail down what to do, my hands are not busy at all. And and before you know it, the day just escapes you and it's over. And that makes me sad, but you're never going to log into my videos to see a bunch of drama and whimpering. I'm not that type of person. I don't like um, showing everybody my boohooing. Some people have to do that. That's how they heal, but I'm not that way. I heal through prayer and through rest and through peace that God gives me. So uh, if I if I like let out a little emotion every once in a while, that's a natural emotion. I'm not going to stop it, but 
I'm just not one of those drama type people. So as far as I'm concerned, there's plenty of other drama in the world. And my problems are very small in the grand scheme of what's been going on in this world. We don't have to go any further about that. So, uh, so I've been struggling figuring out what to do. It's not like I don't have enough stuff to do. You can see over my shoulder I have my paper pumpkin collection up there. I wish I could tell you they're all done, but they're not done. But I have them, and for some reason, that comforts me. Uh, I don't really think you can see my punch collection, but it's extensive. And, uh, yeah, I think it's Aunt May May. I have been listening to on YouTube, and she said something on a video. It was an older video, but I'm just catching up on getting to know her videos. And she said, you know, there's just some people, some things in this world that people need to collect. And for her, it's punches. And I can honestly say that for me, one of the things I collect is punches. I've done pretty well for myself, actually. I think I've gotten all the Stampin' Up! punches that I can get. And EK Success and several, um, uh, pardon me, Martha Stewart punches also. She's got a few goodies, too. So, yeah, I've been busy. Uh, racking up quite a collection of them but they are so fun and I just I get a lot of uh, enjoyment from them so I've been uh, doing a lot of card making uh, I have my card stock right over here all lined up I've got my ink pads you can see some of them over here I've got my soup wang tape the big version and you know I've got my Tim Holtz mat non-stick mat and I'm ready to go if only I can get my mind to focus in on what I want to do that is a huge problem for me. It's not fun. In fact, I would reckon myself to say that it's agonizing from time to time because I was such a sharp thinker and now I'm just not. And that's very upsetting for me um, because I used to be. I was a very sharp thinker. And I can still be from time to time when the moment, you know, it, it's necessary to think quickly. I still can. But it exhausts me to no end. It's um, it's as if I ran a marathon. It's it's just the, the quirkiest thing that you could ever imagine. I'm exhausted and I sleep for hours. Okay, so what else? Um, I'm still on Tecvidera. It's an oral medication and uh, it's a, a little blue pill, not the funny blue pill, just an MS blue pill. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, I'm, I'm still okay on that. Uh, I had a really uh, rough time with flushing, or which means you turn beet red and you itch, which is great for me since itching is such a huge factor already for my symptoms. But that, that has gotten much better, so I'm happy about that. But I was in this, I guess you'd call it a honeymoon phase when I first started it, and I had a lot of energy at first, and it was great. Yeah, that subsided too. <laughs> I'm back to me again. So let's see, uh, one of my most recent struggles that I've been having has been with my weight gain. I have uh, been sleeping so much that I really just need to pretty much stop eating um, the comfort foods or the normal foods. You know, I'm, I'm not an excessive eater. It's just that after Wednesday night church, my husband and I tend to go out to eat. That's going to have to be curtailed because I, I just don't move enough. And the pain in my body doesn't allow me to move more and exercise more. So I just have to kind of uh, scale down my, my, my fun food. And uh, that's really all it is. And, and I know that I'll get a handle on it. And, you know, you've got thick times in your life and you've got thin times in your life. And this is just one of my thick, fluffy times. So, you know, I've got a husband who loves me either way. Uh, he's a wonderful man, and he understands that it's very hard for me. So as long as I have him, and I, I have, you know, I have a right mind about it, and it's I'm not an emotional eater. In fact, I'm the opposite of an emotional eater. When I'm emotional, I don't eat. So uh, that's a good thing, right? That's not, you know, anything destructive or nothing. And I'm a generally happy person, so I'll be okay. Um, let's see. I, I heard uh, a few things. Uh, recently about um, Lauren Parrott. She had some good news about her Ty Sabri that she's been taking. I also took Ty Sabri for, but for a very short time because it didn't help me any, any. It just made it worse. 
but she was a little concerned that she'd have to stop taking Tysabri because of the, uh, the brain uh, infection, PML. Um, the likelihood of it hurting people goes up the longer you take uh, Tysabri or other um, MS-related drugs. And um, her good news was that the doctor said she just has to lessen her amount that she takes, so she'll do it like once every five or six weeks instead of every four. So I was very happy for her for that. That was um, that was a huge deal. So I'm very happy for her. She's very young. She's in her 20s. I'm going to be 46 years old in May. I don't know if anybody noticed, but I cut all my hair off. Can you see? It's gone. My husband just had an hour. You know, the whole reason I grew my hair out, well, no, not the whole reason. I love my hair long. I always have wanted long hair. Ever since my mother cut it off when I was like six years old and it never grew back long enough. Well, I did it. I got my hair long. It was getting a bit tiresome and hard to deal with and it was hot in the summer. But my husband just out of the blue said, hey, do you ever think of getting your hair cut just a little shorter? Or maybe I brought it up. I'm not sure. No, my girlfriend Amy brought it up. And then I was like, well, you know, I keep it because my husband, I promised him I wouldn't cut my hair. And then out of the blue, I told him that, and he's just like, oh, I wouldn't mind if you get your hair. I mean, I know it's got to be a lot of work to keep up. And I was like, what? And I was like, well, thanks for the update. So we ran out like the next day, and I donated my hair to um, Wigs for Kids at Great Clips. And uh, so there it is. What do you think? Not that this is a, a, a pretty app or a pretty video on Glamour. It's not. I don't wear a lot of makeup. Not on Sunday and not on Tuesday. So this is me. This is the real me. And I don't, I don't, I'm not the type of person that does all that goofy stuff. Although I do get ipsy, but I do it mostly for the bags. So let's see. I wish you could talk back to me. I was thinking of trying Periscope. If anybody thinks I should try Periscope, I think I'm going to try to get that because that seems like a lot more fun for me. I'm going to give that a shot, maybe even today, because it seems like I'm, I'm so, uh, kind of fly by the seat of my pants when I'm making these videos. I don't do anything by script. It just kind of goes with what pops into my mind and I say what's on my mind. So maybe I'll try Periscope. But if you think I should try per Periscope, you could always comment below. I have a few people who have subscribed to my channel and I'm so grateful for you. Thank you. And again, I hope I can help you in any way I can. Uh, I, I'm, my head is full of information. Uh, so if you just give me a little bit of direction, <laughs> I know I've got lots of answers. But for me to come up with something to say in an orderly way by myself is pretty much impossible. Okay, well, I guess that's it for now. And uh, i got my trusted little mouse over here so I can turn it off when I want to turn it off. And just say thank you and God bless you. I hope you had a wonderful Easter if you celebrate Easter. If you didn't celebrate Easter, I hope you had a happy Sunday and a wonderful weekend with your family. And I'll be back shortly and hopefully a lot quicker than last time. Okay? Okay. Peace.